Well, the good news is it looks like they're actually starting to make a lot of improvements. If anybody has seen my How to Save Sonic video, I can actually say, thankfully, that they are actually that a lot of my that the problems that I've had with the Sonic franchise, it looks like they're fixing it. Though I'm not saying that they actually saw my video. I'm just saying that a lot of what I was saying to make it better, it does look like they're implementing it right away. I mean, for one fact, and this is just like out of nowhere, the fact that I said wait until you're about 70% until you're finished with the game, and then announce it, instead of just announcing it whenever you get an idea. And for this one, it looked like they were been working on it for about three years. And, and so it looked like they did get enough time to actually tune it up and fix it, and make it look good before they presented it. So, yes, that's one thing right there. But more importantly are the controls, the camera angle, and the gameplay elements that are going to be found in Sonic Unleashed. First of all, the sidestep feature, that would have been great for Secret Rings. So I'm glad that they're implementing it right here. And in case some of you don't know about that, that's where you can just like push the shoulder button and you'll quickly run, run to the other side. So split second movement right there. Yes, I like that. As long as it doesn't go all the way to the side, as long as it's just like a quick little jump to the out of the way of the object, that's that's perfectly fine. I hope it works. As for the camera angles, it does look like secret rings, but it's but it does bring the camera angle up more so we can see more of what's ahead of us instead of just looking at Sonic the whole time. Now we can actually adjust our vision to see what's ahead. And as for the gameplay element, it looks like 2D and 3D. But it looks like they're fine-tuning both of them, so yes, this is actually a Sonic game to actually get excited about. Uh, the only concern I have right now is the whole werewolf hedgehog idea. Granted, we haven't seen anything, so it's too early to pass judgment on that, even though I don't like the idea at all. But, I mean, the combat melee thing could be fun, even though it does seem out of character for Sonic. And in fact, in my video, I stated they should have given that to Knuckles, where it fits him better. So hopefully, so until we actually get to play it, or until it actually comes out, I'm going to remain cautiously optimistic about it. I have high hopes, but Sega always does seem to have a way of disappointing us in the end. Hopefully that won't happen this time, and hopefully this will fix it. Alright, moving on. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts you know the sad thing is, just as soon as we saw Sonic see Sonic just about to take this huge turnaround, we're seeing Banjo Kazooie make that same turn that almost put Sonic in his grave. I mean, the vehicle combat thing, it just screams Shadow the Hedgehog to me. You're taking all the elements that made the current franchise great, and you're taking it away from them. This is not how you help your franchise. This is more like a spin-off, and I don't find this as a real Banjo Kazooie game. This is not Banjo 3E or Banjo Kazooie 3E or whatever you want to call it. This is a spin-off, in my opinion. This is not what we've been waiting eight years for. I might as well say this right now. Rare, you used to take some really good drugs. I think you need another visit to Dr. Mario. By the way, blowing up that 8-bit pixel representation of him in your trailer? Not funny, Rare. It's not a good way to show respect to the company that helped put you on the map. Because before Donkey Kong Country, the only people who knew you had Cobra Triangle and RC Pro AM and any of those Sesame Street games. When they're now with Microsoft, they said they had a lot more freedom. You know, maybe, I mean, does that sound like Nintendo had a lot of restrictions on you guys? You know, maybe that was a good thing. Maybe they're acting like your parents. They're just saying, oh no, don't do that, you're going to hurt yourself. You know, it's a very bad thing to, to do that. Here, just stay like this and you'll be fine. Now that you're with Microsoft, it feels like you're... Like they're your uh, fraternity brother. Oh, just go do it, dude! It'll be cool! Go cool, do it, man! It's gonna be awesome! Just go do it! You know, it just... I don't like that way. It's, I don't like the way it's going. I personally feel that they were better with Nintendo. I know a lot of you guys do as well. But moving on to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts itself. I mean, the whole look of it, the graphics, they're okay. They look okay. They're not stunning or amazing. They fit the characters really well. They fit the overall world theme. It's okay. Um, the vehicles themselves look like they were made out of kinetics or Legos. Maybe both. And it brings this whole childish feel to it, which is okay. I like that as well. At least it doesn't look gritty and, and realistic in a way. But, you know, when I see Banjo-Kazooie, 
on the vehicle with a cannon. It, for some reason, it just feels like if this is successful, sooner or later, you're gonna put a bandana on Banjo's head, stick a cigar in his mouth, and have Kazooie get wasted in the backpack. And don't say that's not gonna happen, because look what happened to Conquer. So yeah, I don't like the direction they took with it. Those vehicles and all those other stuff, those, they should have saved that for the multiplayer, not for the whole entire game, because your moves, all your moves are based around the vehicles. You don't have any original attacks that you had in the previous games. Everything is modeled after those vehicles. Uh, I mean, if there's anything good I can say about it, it's that the worlds themselves look open, so that you, they look really huge, so that you can actually have a lot of freedom to fly around or drive around them. But still, this is not what we were expecting, and I, and I don't think... I mean, a lot of us didn't expect this, and there aren't that... I don't know who's excited about it. You have your reasons, fine. I I was actually looking forward to Banjo-Kazooie 3, Banjo 3, whatever, and that was going to be my whole reason for buying an Xbox 360. Yeah, you heard me. Banjo-Kazooie was so good, I would buy an Xbox 360 for it. Not that I'm saying that there aren't any other good games on the 360, but if any other... But if there was one game to make me buy it, it would be that one. And look what happened to it. To me, it looks like a combination between Grand Theft Auto, Twisted Metal, and Halo Wars. This is not a platforming Banjo-Kazooie game. This is a spin-off. And until I actually get to play it, I don't think I'm actually going to run out and buy it or an Xbox 360, unless this thing gets incredibly great reviews and scores. So those are my overall opinions based on these games. So far, uh, Banjo is so far, Sonic Unleashed looks optimistically promising. A lot of the problems that they've had, and they've noted, they're fixing them. And for Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts. Ugh. No, no, no. And those are all my overall opinions on these games. If you have a different opinion, you know, that's okay, I don't mind. But if you want me to respect your opinion, you have to respect mine. If you do have a different opinion, then go ahead and leave me a comment. I'm open for discussion about this. Well, those are all, that's all I have to say about this whole matter. Until next time.